Shout out to all my sons out there, man. I, I saw World Combat Sports. Uh, he posted Sean Porter in the barbershop. Man, I got so many sons everywhere, man. Y'all, man. <laughs> hey, let me tell y'all something, man. The concept is great. Two things. Sean, if you're in the barbershop and you're not willing to be honest and you want to censor people's conversations as you did get, I didn't watch, only watch the first 15 minutes of it. Uh, I, I, I intend... I intend on watching the rest of it, but if you plan on being in a barbershop, you got to let people be themselves. You can't censor a man in a barbershop, man. But I got all my sons out there, man, doing a barbershop talk and, man, everybody talking about doing videos about uh, uh, what's going on with Earl Spence. And let me tell y'all this. If you want to be a real journalist, let, let me give y'all questions. You could tell every media member is asking, who do you think is going to win? Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford. <laughs> Dude, it's more to boxing than that. You're going to walk up to a world championship fighter and, and you only ask him about Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford? I guess no one cares about Carissa Shields. Do we act like we care about Carissa Shields, Alicia Bumgardner, Devin Haney? No one asks. I ain't heard no questions about Devin Haney in New York. I ain't heard no questions. People talk about it. See, that's what I'm saying. You get five hours on the plane, two hours on the plane. You get a three-hour car ride, whatever the case may be, and you don't lack. But anyways, I come from a newspaper background, so that's my, so that's my uh, reality. Niggas just fans of boxing and, and just started YouTube channels and shit. But, but I would have loved, man. Boxing needs me back, but... It won't be for a couple of years, man. I'm going to wait for Lincoln is able to stand to the side and be comfortable, you know what I mean, uh, while I'm doing what I do, you know what I mean? So uh, that's the reality of this thing, man. I'm having such a blast doing basketball practice with Lincoln and going to ballet with Kennedy. It's a blast, man. But, uh, but yeah, man, shout out to all my stepsons, all my stepsons and sons. Y'all want to be like daddy so bad. Y'all want to be like daddy so bad, man. <laughs> This is the worst week of journalism in the history of boxing. I ain't even lying to you. I'm not even lying. Like, there's more to boxing than Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford. And if you're going to ask Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford, guess what? You're in the middle of the PBC thing. Ask him about Al Heyman, Steven Espinosa. What do you think is going on? What's the delay? How about some critical questions? How about you challenge the fighters? Challenge the promoters. Challenge the manager. Man, cowards, man. I think y'all cowards. <laughs> Sean ain't gonna say Al Heyman's name. I know that's for damn sure. That's for damn sure. You know, but anyways, man, barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. And uh, I got a lot of sons out there, man. Sean, you can't take a five hour trip and not have a production meeting on a plane and not have the, the cameras organized and not have the questions organized, you know, topics, man. You know, uh, Shushu Carrington was in the wrong seat, you know what I mean? Uh, um, but it was too flat, you know, but you'll get better at it. I'm, uh, I'm glad, I'm glad you, I'm glad you took my idea. That, that's, that's beautiful. I don't mind. It's, you can't be me. <laughs> Barbershop. And that's your job to be me. You got you to do your best impersonation of Frederick Hawthorne. You got to align the conversation with the truth and the topics because they are the experts. So you can't be an expert. You either got to be a personality or the information guy, like the statistics guy. Well, no, Gary Russell, you were, you were 33 and 0. You, you got to align them with the facts. That's your job. But, you know, that, that comes with the reality. When you've been in TV for so long, you got to really, really understand that, you know, you got to. But anyways, I, I, I didn't taught you guys. I didn't taught my sons enough. And uh, I'm the king of this shit. I'm the king. I'm the king of this shit. I am, man. Barbershop Conversations. Hit the subscribe button. And I appreciate y'all for trying to be me. And y'all keep on reporting on the, the troubles. Everybody on YouTube is reporting. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Everyone on YouTube is reporting about PBC and their money problems. Don't, are you hating on Al Heyman too? <laughs>
Shout out to all my stepsons, man. I'll holler at you guys. Yeah, I ain't getting $6,700 a month from me. <laughs> go go holler at 50. He up there in Queens, not too far from Brooklyn. I'm gone. Peace, guys.